We use the term yokominuchi just as it is employed in the sword arts. One of the main problems with this technique is the use of the hand in the basic strike. Most Aikido practitioners stand this way and extend their hands. This is not tegatana, the hand blade. If you were to strike this way, you would just injure your own hand. It shouldn't be done this way. If you are going to use the hand like a sword, you must position your hand as though you are holding a sword. This is the proper way of holding the sword. This is how you hold it. I release my hand. I grasp the sword. This is the correct way of grasping the sword. You must firmly hold the sword with your thumb and little finger. From this position, you can execute the various striking and thrusting movements using the sword. Of course, there are about 12 ways of using the hand, and they all start from here. Hiraken, Ipponken, Seiken. These are the basic forms. It is completely wrong to assume this stance. You must raise your hand straight over your head in order to strike correctly. Most people begin their strike from here, the side of the head. This is proof that a person has not practiced the sword properly. You can't cut anything this way. The showmen and yokomen strikes are all the same at this point. It's not done like this. You must first correct this mistake before beginning training with the sword. The next thing is where to strike. People usually execute the yokomenuchi strike to this point. In a real situation, this is unthinkable. This is very ineffective. No one in a realistic situation on a battlefield would cut here because it is ineffective. It's hard to cut. In a real situation, you must strike to these vital points. That's the way it should be done. Aikidoka don't close their hands when they strike. Karate practitioners who strengthen their hands don't strike that way. They know it's not effective, so naturally they don't strike that way. So what is the purpose of Aikidoka, who haven't even strengthened their hands, striking in such an ineffective way? That's the problem with this way of striking. This is where we strike. Here and here. With the sword, of course, you strike the shoulder. We have made various corrections and developed this way of doing it. The point we strike in our way of executing the Yokominuchi strike is different from the usual way of doing it. I would like to demonstrate Yokominuchi techniques with this in mind. 